Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be working on the 7.3 again. So we are going to be installing these bed rails, the toolbox, tailgate rail, and then we are also going to be installing a hydro tuner on this truck. So uh, I forgot to record a intro as you can see here because I have everything done. But the first couple of minutes is going to be me working on the, the uh, backpack here. If you want to skip forward and just see the hydro tuner, that will be the rest of the video. It is uh, It has 15 tunes on it right now and I will talk more about that here in a second. So let's get right to work. So we went ahead and put one of the bed rails on that is sitting here. This one over here we are going to put on in this video now. Um, I went ahead and put this L shape uh, rubber gasket under here so it won't scratch my paint. But these are pretty easy to get put on. You, uh, of course, I just bought these off of Amazon. And then to install them, you drill a hole through your bedside right there and slip a bolt in. And you do that three times. And then uh, they just sit on there. Uh, I put this gasket on there like I just said because the edge was really sharp and it had some like little um, like welding marks it seemed like. So I didn't want that to scratch my paint. So I went ahead and put that on. And then we are also gonna be putting the tailgate on. So let's get right to work. So we got the bed rails all installed. They're looking really nice, tailgate one. Um, the tailgate, you use these self-tapping screws right here. The two on the corners are already pre-drilled. Uh, and then the two in the middle, you have to drill yourself. Same with the bed rails, the two in the corners, pre-drilled, the one in the middle, you have to drill yourself. So uh, everything's looking good. The next thing we need to do is put the toolbox back on and then I have some other stuff going, coming in the mail pretty soon. So uh, I'm re really looking forward to that. Got the toolbox back on the truck just put some self tappers in here to hold it one on each side just like I had before the next thing we're going to do is pull the PCM out of my truck which is located right down here first thing you need to do is unplug the batteries but the reason why we're pulling the PCM is because I got a hydro tuner which I'll show you all here in a little bit so let's get these batteries unhooked and pull this PCM You can see right there, the PCM is halfway out, but it is hitting the wheel fender. So what we have to do is take this bolt out here and this bolt out here, stick a pry bar in here and uh, kind of flex this fender. And then we will be able to pull the PCM out. PCM has been removed. Um, there's a sticker right here that my thumb is covering up. I'm not sure if you're supposed to show it or not, so I'm not going to, but that should have your box code on it. And then this also faces the, like the inside of the fender. So whenever you slide it back in, this sticker needs to be facing it out towards the fender. So what we have to do is remove these six screws right here, take this apart, and then we have to um, sand down the contacts, which I'll show y'all how to do right now. So I went ahead and got my chip plug into the uh, computer. As you can see here, they send you a USB that plugs right into your computer. So once you go to the hydrahelp.com website, you will be directed here. And then you will want to download the Hydra Flash software, which I already have done. Because my internet takes a while, so we have it pulled up here. The next thing you need to do is once you pull your PCM out of your truck, you need to find that box code, which I told you all about a while ago. Go to tools and go to box slash hex conversion and then you're just going to select your box code which mine is alf4 so we're gonna look for alf4 alf4 just like that So my hex code is that number, and my de desired calibration is that, which I need to write down, because that's what you're gonna be using to search your tunes up. So let me get that written down real quick. 
once I get it written down, we will move on. Okay. So I got that. So what we are going to do now is exit out of this. Go to your first slot. I'm going to do my second slot first. I was able to find the desired calibration code. I just looked it up in the search filter up here. So for tune number two, we are going to just put the uh, factory stock tune on there. Just so uh, I know what it is. Actually, no. For tune number two, we're going to do a uh, 1100 RPM high idle. So we'll select that and then it'll pop up here. So once I get all my tunes filled in, I'll get back to y'all. So we went ahead and got all 15 tune slots filled with different things. I just put everything on it except for uh, a 1,000 high idle and 12,000 high, high idle. Everything else went on. So what we need to do now is hit program. And then it is going to take a while for this to program. So uh, I am going to say on time lapse and then get back to y'all here in a second. <music> So they said to unplug the USB or it says it is disconnected, plug it back in and make sure all the tunes are still there. And if they're still there, then the chip has been su successfully programmed, which it is. So we are going to uh, get all this cleaned up in here real fast, go outside and start cleaning off the PCM. As you can see now, we are back out of the barn. So what we need to clean off are these teeth right here. This is all silicone whenever they dip the chip, the silicone just drips off the edge, so it makes it really nasty. The kit sends you this wire brush. It's, it has brass teeth, so it won't mess up the chip. And they say to use the corner of the brush to kind of clean off, start cleaning off that silicone, which you can see right there. It's doing a pretty good job in that one little area. So that's what I'll start with. Once you get done doing all that, then you hit up with this little piece of scotch bright, which they give you also to make it smooth and then we will be ready to assemble this again and put it back in the truck. So as you can see, the contacts are looking clean now. So we can start putting this PCM back together and then put it back in the truck. PCM is back in right there. The next thing we have to do is come back inside the truck and we are going to have to remove the third or the uh, the emergency brake. So there's three bolts, pull this off and then your um, PCM will be behind the brake. As you can see there, there is the back of the PCM. So I'm gonna grab my chip and install it when they, they said when you install it make sure you put a piece of duct tape across the back of it so it doesn't try to rattle out so we are going to grab that run the wire and run the um or put the chip in so i went ahead got everything put back on got the hydro ran up right here um later on i'm going to move this but i don't have a long enough cord for where i want it so it's going to sit right there for now um i've tried it once already made sure it worked uh, i tried it way earlier it's dark now but um, I did not have the contacts on this, uh, the computer completely clean of silicone. So I had to take it all apart, redo it once again. But now we got it all good. So whenever you turn on the key, it lights up with your different numbers and everything. And I'm gonna show you what it sounds like from the outside on whisper mode and then I'll do high idle. So I have been running the tuner for the last couple days now. Uh, I really, really like it. I've been running it on three most of the time, which is just the stock tune. And then I've also been running it on four, which is the uh, daily horsepower uh, 40. 
And uh, overall, really, really like it. The main thing I want this for is the high idle and the whisper mode. So I probably won't be using like the performance or anything like that. I just put them on there because there's 15 slots. So there's no reason not to fill them up since they're all free uh, tunes anyway. But other than that, um, the next video we will be putting new wheels on my truck. Uh, actually, I just got them. So I'm about to start the new video. Here's a little sneak peek of what we got. We got race lines. So if you want to see that video, that'll be out in a couple weeks. But other than that, thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next video.